Hello everyone and welcome to IM MS Excel Expert Tutorial Series. Today is day 22 and we will be working on round functions. So basically we have three different kinds of round functions in MS Excel. The first one is a round function, the second one is a round up function and third one is a round down function. So basically all of them are having two parameters and uh, the way we work is a bit different. So let's obviously we'll have a small exercise on all three functions. Uh, soon and uh, let me first tell you the parameters the for the round function we have two parameters the first one we have to select the number which we want to round and the second is like we have to feed we have to feed in the digits by which we want to round that number right so round up is actually um, again two parameters the number we have to select which we want to uh, you know round up and the second one is we need to feed in the digits by which we want to round up that particular number and same goes for round down here again we have to select the number uh, like which we want to do round down and then we have to fit in the digits by which we want to round down that particular number so basically the difference between round up and round down is in round up whenever we round up a particular number that uh, is actually going away from zero so like we have from zero to nine and if we round up so that will move from zero one two three four in this sense towards nine and in the same case if we have a round down formula so again we have the same series 0 to 9 but it comes from 9 to 0 it comes towards 0 okay so let's have a small exercise on all three functions so the first one is regarding the round function so here we have uh, 10 numbers and we have mentioned here like we want to round them by so and so decimals so let's do that so we use a round formula here and since I mentioned we had two parameters the first one is we need to select the number and then by how many digits do you want to round so in this case we want by three because we have mentioned three decimals in cell C4 right let me write three and close the bracket and hit enter so the moment I hit enter we have 10.023 so after decimal you can see we have uh, three digits over here in this one the actual number that's in B4 we had uh, 10.02312 so you can see like this formula is working fine we can track this formula but again these decimals are not fixed so we cannot just track the formula but instead of that we can use we can use one more formula with the combination of round function that is the left function right so round this number and then in the left one we can use this text and we want only the left one digit out of it and hit enter now in this case we can drag this formula now let's have a look quickly uh, in this case you can see in the second one where we have 0 0.12312 this number is being uh, converted into this number using two decimals so we have 0 0.12 so you can see that formula is working fine the formula works for negative numbers as well where we have uh, minus 2.0901 and we have converted that using uh, for, for two decimals minus 2.09 right so basically in this formula this formula is not converting them like it's not converting 10.0023 like the first one into let's say 10.024 or something like that it's just fixing how many digits do you want to see and this is what it look like right so if you use the same kind of functionality in round up function let's see what we'll have what we'll have so round up again this number and uh, since we have the decimal let me use the left formula combination over here and this is the text which i want and only left one digit i want so this is my formula right so in this case we have 10.024 so if you see in the initial one when we use the round function in cell d4 we had 10.023 which is like you know slicing the number after right after three decimals the original number whereas when we use the round up it actually the last digit is actually put one up so it's trying to go up for away from zero zero to nine as i mentioned before so if i drag this formula we have these numbers so in the second one also you can see here the original was 0 0.12312 where we use two decimals in the normal round function we have 0 0.12 like exactly after two decimals we are slicing this number in round function and we have 
0.12 whereas in round up it's actually making it bit up it's go it's trying to go towards 9 right so that's a difference okay so this same goes for negative number here as well initially like again we put a slice over here when we use the round function so negative 2.0901 we put two decimal in round function so after nine we do not have any value whereas when we use the same thing uh, in uh, in uh, round up we have this number rounded up right okay so let's do the same similar kind of exercise for round down so round down is this again select the number and left formula combination use this text and I need only one digit uh, from this. Let's right. So this is what I have. So if you look here in the first one, the normal round function was telling us like 10.023, three decimal number. Whereas when we use the round up, we got 10.024. But when we use the round down, we got the 10.023. That means it cannot go further down that's why it is going to stick to the actual number right so for example here you can see here we have a negative number when we use the round we got a slicing right after 0 0.9 because that is a two decimal then here when we use the round up it actually try to you know push this number to go bit up right and then we have round down which is actually trying to push this number to go a bit down so this is the way guys we can use uh, round round up and round down functions if you have any queries or comments please write uh, below in the comment section thank you so much for your support thank you so much uh, for whatever you guys are doing for me uh, thank you